Oh, <laughs> this color though. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. Yes, honey, we are blonde. They say blondes have more fun. I don't know if it's true or not, but this, I did not expect this look. I did not expect to love this color. I did not expect, I didn't expect this. I'm gonna keep saying that. Okay, let's get into the video. I'm too excited. I cannot wait to show you guys this wig. This is from the brand Beauty Forever. I ordered it off of Amazon and it is freaking gorgeous. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload hair, makeup, nails, beauty, a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. That's what this channel is about. If you want to see how I installed this wig, find out the specs, all that good stuff, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, guys, so like I said, this is from the brand Beauty Forever, and this is what the hair looks like. I did take it out the box before and kind of brush through it, and I was just like, I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off. But this is the hairline. Hairline looks really good. It is pre-plucked, and it kind of looks like the knots are bleached, but I think it's just because the hair is so much lighter. I did not do anything to this hairline. I didn't feel like I needed to. I am not really experienced with plucking, so that made me happy. This is the inside of the cap. It is ear to ear lace, 13 inches, and the parting space is by four. They have combs on the side, one comb in the back, and then you also get your adjustable straps. So it's a pretty standard construction for a wig, and there is no elastic band. Those curls were popping and I didn't want to wash it, but I decided to anyway. I'm using my Mazzani 25 in one protector. It's like the it's a 10. I do try to use really good hair products whenever I'm styling my wigs because I want it to last. I also went in with this Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Oil Heat Protectant. I knew I was going to be putting a lot of heat on this hair, so I wanted to make sure it was protected well. I just brushed everything through to make sure it was evenly distributed, and then I didn't want to wait. I probably should have did this the day before and just let it air dry, but I went through and I blow dried the hair. It didn't take that long. I was surprised. It is 150% density, but it did feel thicker when I was blow drying it. Afterwards, I just picked this up. This is the Regrowth Thick. It's a conditioning spray, but it's also to help shine, help condition, and it's supposed to help your hair feel thicker without weighing it down. I thought that was gonna be perfect for this wig because I knew I wanted big, voluminous curls and I did not want it to be weighed down. So I just wanted to make sure the product was completely saturated and dried into the hair before I moved into styling it further. I also went in with another thermal protectant, but this one has a little bit of a hold to it. So again, I'm just trying to do everything I can to make sure that the curls are gonna hold because a lot of times when I do straight wigs, I spend hours curling and it doesn't work. This is another hairspray. This one, I went in with it very sparingly. And again, this is just to hold the curls. And then also, I put a little extra at the top just to help with flyaways. And later, it also helps to smooth down the top of the hair to make it lay flatter. Again, I just wanted to make sure everything was distributed evenly, so I went through and brushed the hair, feeling like now it is ready to go. As you can see, it's shiny, it's still moving, has some body to it, so we're good. This product right here though, this is the Duval. This is their Desire Series 32 millimeter curling wand. It came with a glove, thank goodness, because yes, I did burn myself. It's a pretty simple design. It only has an off on switch and there aren't any settings to adjust the temperature, but this is my first time using a curling wand. I went in with my flexible hold styling spray by Paul Mitchell. 
Again, another product to hold the curl. I know y'all probably think I'm crazy, but even after using all of this stuff and combing the curls through, they held, but the hair was still soft and still had a lot of movement to it. So it may seem like a lot, but I just, I think I finally found a combination that works to keep the curls and to keep the hair to hold the way I wanted. So I was really excited. Now I'm gonna say right off the bat, I always thought using a curling wand was the same as using a curling iron. I was completely misinformed. I did not realize how well this was gonna curl. And I feel like it also, the barrel was longer, so it gave me a chance to wrap more of the hair around it. And this just created the perfect spiral curls. I honestly don't know how I managed without one of these before. And now I'm excited to use them on some of my other wigs because I think it is gonna be a game changer. This tool heats up really fast and it also helps to seal your cuticles to banish frizz and flyaways. All right, you guys saw the styling of this wig. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I had to do my makeup first because I just felt like I needed to come on here, get together, put together. Wigs like this, I just feel like this is either gonna be hit or miss, so do it justice, give it a fair chance. If you skip through the beginning of this, because I got feedback that some of y'all skip through the unboxing, some of y'all skip through the styling, you just want to see it on the head. This is the Beauty Forever Ash Blonde Bouncy Body Wave, 13 by 4 lace front, and it is in the color TL412. It's 16 inches, and it is Brazilian Virgin Human Hair. It's 150% density. Let me grab her. She's still sitting on my mannequin head. So this is what she looks like, all curled. She's been sitting while I did my makeup. I did push the front back a little bit with some hairspray and use my wand curler. I'm gonna tell y'all more about that wand curler too. And yeah, so we're about to put her on. I am gonna go ahead and put a wig cap on for this one just to make sure my hair is flat. And I'm probably going to put my wig grip on as well. I like doing that because I feel like it just gives more security. Although I ain't going nowhere and I don't need to keep it on. I just feel like it kind of helps it stay in place better and lay flatter as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put, I don't know, I want to use my lace spray, but I haven't used it yet. As you can see, the lace is a little tiny bit ashy. I'm going to just use powder mainly because it's close enough, but I still want a little more warmth. And I'm just going to put it right in the front. The knots on this unit are not bleached, but because they look smaller in the front and they also look lighter because the hair color is lighter, so I don't feel like I need to worry about that too much. I have yet to bleach knots on a wig, so I'm gonna get there one day. I'm just not there yet. All right, wig grip is on. I'm gonna go ahead and put the adjustable straps pretty tight. Oh, <laughs> this color though. I do feel like this has a lot of extra lace, which I ain't mad about. I think this color is going to be good, especially since I put bronzer. Oh my goodness. I'm excited already. Oh, this is gonna look so good. Okay, let's finish with the install. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna spray it down. I have this ORS Super Hold Wig Grip Spray. I'm gonna go between this. I'm not gonna use Got To Be Gel, but I also have my Got To Be just in case because that's what I'm used to. And then I haven't used this yet, but this is the ORS Olive Oil Fix It Liquifix Spritz Gel. It does say that this has castor oil for strengthening, so it's probably really good around your edges. So I'm probably gonna put this under the wig and then put the other one on top instead of using gel.
I don't know why I do this to myself. I am so aggravated because I think that the meltdown went really well and everything looks good. Like my bronzer's too dark, so I'm gonna fix that. I should have went in with a lighter powder here, but I also normally use bronzer. Plus some of that is my hair. But yeah, it's too far back. I already got a big forehead. Why would you put your wig way back there? This is what I do to myself. So I'm gonna fix that, try to fix that. But anyway, we're gonna finish styling this wig because we have come too far. Absolutely love this color, but the hair feels so soft. I was a little worried because when I was styling it, it really kind of felt like when I was blow drying it and everything, it looked really frizzy, but now it looks good. I'm going to try to get this a little bit flatter and hopefully that'll help. But this color, I was worried about this color because of my skin tone, thinking it might be too close to being the same, but it is not. So I'm just going to go back in with my curling wand. Okay, first of all, why did nobody tell me how awesome curling wands were? I thought they were pretty much like, I'm going to just use a curling iron and it's going to be the same thing, if not easier. No way. This Duval curling wand, I did get this sent to me and they had one smaller than this one, but I decided to go, trying not to pull hot stuff down in front of me. I decided to go with this one because it was a little bit bigger and I wanted it for my wigs to make like, you know, just look at this body though. Okay. Distracted. Yeah. Just to get, you know, kind of waves like this and this curled so well. I thought it was going to be um, adjustable as far as the temperature, but it's only one temperature. And in the manual, it does not say what the temperature is that it heats up to. So I have no idea, but I don't feel like it burned the hair or made it like start sizzling or anything like that. I did see a little bit of smoke, but that could be just from the products that I was using. So I absolutely love this. It is not the same as a curling iron. So if you've been thinking about getting a curling wand, I do have the information in the description box. But even like doing this, if I tried to do this with my curling iron, it would not come out like this. And it doesn't come out this flat with my hot comb either. So I don't know. I was sleeping on it thinking that I didn't need it. And now that I have one, this will definitely be something that I use regularly. The hair is smoothing out nicely. And then I'm going to curl comb this up a little bit because I do want it to have I should just should I swoop it try to cover up some of this forehead I just feel like it looks more realistic when you comb it back away oh my goodness Barbara I'll comb your whole wig off girl when you comb it back away from the face and I did feel like I don't know if you guys can see this over here on the sides it is a little too short for my sideburns, this is my sideburns here, which you can obviously tell because of the color. And then same on this side, just a little bit, not bad. And this spray, this gel spray, I rarely get my sides to stick down that easy. So that was a definite win. I'm gonna finish styling this real quick. I'm gonna go back in with my curling wand and just touch up around the front, get this flattened out, and then I will give you guys my final thoughts. All right, finished curling. I'm gonna go ahead and put some powder in the part just to kind of try to help lighten it up a little bit. The hair is so light though, you really can't see much. And you can see this powder is helping to lighten up the part that I said was too dark. So we are good there. I tend to go heavy with bronzer and blush anyway, but yeah. We are about to see how this final look turns out. I am absolutely in love with that curling wand. It just makes everything so easy. And I never do this little, okay, these little hairs right here. Let me finish. I never do this little comb over method, but yes, okay. Have I burned myself already? Oh yeah, for sure. Let that cool off, comb this side, y'all. I don't think I ever would have had the courage to try a friggin' blonde wig, but I think this looks so gorgeous. Let me see. And what's funny is in high school, I, 
Y'all, y'all know, when you are younger and you have no sense and no money, you do some crazy stuff. I dyed my hair with Kool-Aid. Literally a pack of Kool-Aid. And it worked. But my hair was like orange. So me and light colors do not have the best history. But at the same time, like I even tried sunning in my hair one time. Yo, I feel like a freaking blonde bombshell. Beauty Forever, this wig, this color. Let me get closer. I'm trying to show you guys the length. This is 16 inches, but it feels like it's longer than that. I know my ends are going kind of crazy. I don't care about that. I just love that for once, my freaking volume stayed. So my hair does not look flat. I feel like these curls are going to last for a while. Let me show you guys the back. This is the side. My back may have fell. I don't know. I can't see it. <laughs> Try to comb this out a little bit just to make sure it is laying down. Love the length of this. This is the other side. The parting space isn't huge, but I don't feel like that's a problem for this one at all. I do feel like I have a couple flyaways kind of going crazy, but this might be like my special occasion wig this is the parting space you can see right there i put a little bit of powder other than i think my powder color being a little off this lace is melted perfectly so that is it this beauty forever wig that i got on amazon ash blonde i think it fits me perfectly comment below let me know what you guys think about the color this was a lot it was intimidating because of the color but it was a lot easier to install than I thought it was going to be. And these products that I use, y'all, this spray right here, this might be my new favorite thing. I'm not even going to lie because this is like an in-between of the spray and the got-to-be glue in a bottle. And it has this little nozzle, so it's easy. Absolutely love it. I'm going to end this video here because I'm going to just keep running my fingers through my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the color. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.